गुड इवनिंग दिस इज ऑल इंडिया रेडियो आई एम साई रमुतबा एंड विद मी इज मनोज सिंह राणा विद द इवनिंग न्यूज द हेडलाइंस प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी अनाउंसेज फ्री वैक्सीन टू ऑल अबव एटीन ईयर्स फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट ऑफ जून अड्रेसिंग द नेशन प्राइम मिनिस्टर सेज नो स्टेट हैज टू स्पेंड ऑन वैक्सीन supply of vaccine to increase in the next few days asserts prime minister trials of three more vaccines in advanced stage trials also underway on nasal vaccine and vaccines for children informs prime minister government extends pradhan mantri garib kalyan an yojana till dipavali 80 crore poor to be benefited under the scheme those creating apprehensions about vaccination are playing with the lives of people warns prime minister India reports 1 lakh daily new covid-19 cases the lowest in the last 2 months national recovery rate stands at 93.94% unique disability identification card now acceptable as a photo id for registration on covin 2.0 says center center issues guidelines for vaccination of persons undertaking international travel kerala extends lockdown till 16th of june amid surge in covid-19 cases West Bengal and Puducherry cancel state board examinations. In French Open tennis, Novak Djokovic and Alexander Zverev enter quarterfinals of men's singles. In the wake of COVID-19, we appeal to our listeners not to lower their guard and stay safe and protected by following these four simple steps. Wear a face mask maintain 2 gaz ki doori for social distancing focus on hand and face hygiene and get vaccinated for providing covid related information and guidance to the people national helpline numbers 0112397 and 1075 are operational and now the news in detail Prime Minister Narendra Modi today announced that the central government will provide free vaccines to states for all above 18 years of age starting from the 21st of June addressing the nation this evening Mr Modi said no state government will have to spend anything on the vaccine and the center will provide free vaccine to all the countrymen आज ये निर्णय लिया गया है कि राज्यों के पास वैक्सीनेशन से जुड़ा जो 25 प्रतिशत काम था उसकी जिम्मेदारी भी भारत सरकार उठाएगी 21 जून सोमवार से देश के हर राज्य में 18 वर्ष से ऊपर की उम्र के सभी नागरिकों के लिए भारत सरकार राज्यों को मुफ्त वैक्सीन मुहैया कराएगी Mr Modi said though the government will provide free vaccines to all the countrymen those who want to pay for the same can get vaccinated at private hospitals he added that private hospitals will be able to charge a maximum service charge of 150 rupees for a single dose after the fixed price of the vaccine Mr Modi said the task of monitoring it will remain with the state governments jo vyakti mukt mein vaccine nahi lagwana chahte प्राइवेट अस्पताल में वैक्सीन लगवाना चाहते हैं उनका भी ध्यान रखा गया है देश में बन रही वैक्सीन में से 25 प्रतिशत प्राइवेट सेक्टर के अस्पताल सीधे ले पाए ये व्यवस्था जारी रहेगी प्राइवेट अस्पताल वैक्सीन की निर्धारित कीमत के उपरांत एक डोज पर अधिकतम एक सौ ही सर्विस चार्ज ले सकेंगे Mr Modi said that by working in mission mode the government raised the vaccination coverage from 60% to 90% in 5 to 6 years. He said the government not only enhanced the speed but also widened the ambit of vaccination. Mr Modi said this time India warded off all the apprehensions and through clean intentions, clear policy and constant hard work not just one but two made in India vaccines for covid were launched in the country. भारत में एक साल के भीतर ही एक नहीं बल्कि दो मेड इन इंडिया वैक्सीन लॉन्च कर दी हमारे देश ने देश के वैज्ञानिकों ने ये दिखा दिया कि भारत बड़े बड़े देशों से पीछे नहीं है आज जब मैं आपसे बात कर रहा हूं तो देश में 
तेईस करोड़ से ज्यादा वैक्सीन की डोज दी जा चुकी है The Prime Minister recalled that vaccine task force was constituted when there were just a few thousand COVID-19 cases and vaccine companies were supported by the government in all possible ways in trials and funding for research and development. The Prime Minister informed that due to great effort and hard work, supply of vaccine is about to increase in the coming days. He said seven companies are working on developing vaccines and three trials are underway. He said research is also underway on nasal vaccines. He said trials have been started to determine the safety of the vaccines on children. Mr. Modi said, in this fight, apart from following COVID-appropriate behavior, COVID vaccine is the only protective gear that can save us from the virus. He said, made in India vaccines are saving lives across the world. Corona is the only protective gear that can save us from the virus. In the fight against the virus, the most कोविड प्रोटोकॉल है मास्क दो गज की दूरी और बाकी सारी सावधानियां उसका पालन ही है इस लड़ाई में वैक्सीन हमारे लिए सुरक्षा कवच की तरह है रिकॉलिंग द अनप्रेसिडेंटेड राइज इन द डिमांड फॉर द मेडिकल ऑक्सीजन ड्यूरिंग द सेकंड वेव ड्यूरिंग द मंथ्स ऑफ अप्रैल एंड मई मिस्टर मोदी सेड दैट द चैलेंज वाज मेट एट द वॉर फुटिंग डिप्लॉइंग ऑल द सिस्टम्स ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट He said in the history of India this level of demand for medical oxygen was never experienced the prime minister informed that the pradhan mantri garib kalyan ann yojana has been extended till deepavali he said in this time of pandemic the government is standing with the poor mr modi said free, free food grains will be available in fixed quantity every month to more than 80 crore countrymen till november sarkar ne faisla diya hai कि प्रधानमंत्री गरीब कल्याण अन्य योजना को अब दीपावली तक आगे बढ़ाया जाएगा यानी नवंबर तक 80 करोड़ से अधिक देशवासियों को हर महीने तय मात्रा में मुफ्त अनाज उपलब्ध होगा द प्राइम मिनिस्टर एक्सप्रेस कंडोलेंसेस टू द पीपल हु लॉस्ट देयर लाइव्स इन द पैंडेमिक टर्मिंग द पैंडेमिक द बिगेस्ट कैलामिटी ऑफ लास्ट हंड्रेड इयर्स अ पैंडेमिक नॉट सीन not experienced in the modern world the prime minister said that the country fought the pandemic at many fronts beete 100 varsho mein aayi ye sabse badi mahamari hai trasdi hai is tarah ki mahamari aadhunik vishwa ne na dekhi thi na anubhav ki thi itni badi vaishvik mahamari se hamara desh kai morchon par ek saath lada hai कोविड अस्पताल बनाने से लेकर भारत में वेंटिलेटर बनाने से लेकर टेस्टिंग लैब्स का बहुत बड़ा नेटवर्क तैयार करना हो कोविड से लड़ने के लिए बीते सवा साल में ही देश में एक नया हेल्थ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर तैयार किया गया है द प्राइम मिनिस्टर सेड रिलैक्सेशन इन कोरोना कर्फ्यू शुड नॉट मेक पीपल थिंक दैट कोविड नाइन्टीन हैज एंडेड एंड एवरी वन मस्ट कंटिन्यू टू फॉलो कोविड प्रोटोकॉल टू विन दिस बैटल अभी कई जगहों पर कोरोना कर्फ्यू में ढील दी जा रही है लेकिन इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि हमारे बीच से कोरोना चला गया है हमें सावधान भी रहना है और कोरोना से बचाव के नियमों का भी सख्ती से पालन करते रहना है Mr Modi cautioned against rumors about vaccines and asked youngsters to raise awareness about benefits of vaccination. He says those creating apprehensions about vaccination are playing with the lives of people. Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar thanked the Prime Minister for providing free vaccines to states for citizens above 18 years of age. In a tweet Mr Kumar said The extension of Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Ann Yojana till Diwali is commendable and will be very useful for the people. The chief minister said these tests will be very helpful in winning the fight against COVID. The young generation is hailing the decision announced by Prime Minister Narendra Modi regarding vaccination this evening. From entrepreneurs to students, all are praising the center for listening to their demand. Talking to AI on News, the youth said The decision will help the economically weaker section of the country to get vaccinated and fight against the pandemic. I am Priyanka and I am from West Bengal. Today we have announced that we will get vaccinated. 
vaccine without any cost this is a very very good decision because we have so many income groups in our society so it is not possible for everyone to purchase as vaccine myself trivikram i am a student decision that has been taken by the prime minister of india is excellent because it was very problematic for us to arrange money for the covid vaccine this is really an amazing decision in this tough situation paying thousands of rupees to take the vaccine is not possible for everyone in our country especially the people who are not well off or with a huge family the center has issued guidelines for vaccination of persons undertaking international travel for educational purposes it has also issued the standard operating procedures or sops for people traveling abroad for employment opportunities or as part of india's contingent for tokyo olympic games it said covid certificates are to be linked with passport for such travelers our correspondent reports mention of vaccine type as covid shield is sufficient and no other qualifying entries are required in vaccination certificates the union health ministry has issued sops in this regard which has been conveyed to states and union territories they have also been advised to widely publicize and take all necessary measures to immediately implement the sops the state government shall designate a competent authority in each district for according permission for such administration of the second dose of covid shield the competent authority shall check whether a period of 28 days has elapsed after the date of first dose and genuineness of the purpose of travel based on documents related to travel this facility shall be available to those who need to undertake international travel for these specified purposes in the period up to 31st of august 2021 it is clarified that covid shield produced by the serum institute of india and approved by the drugs controller general of india is one of the vaccines approved by the who for use as on 3rd of june 2021 The Covin system will also soon provide the facility for administration of the second dose in such exceptional cases. The government today said that unique disability identification card UDID will be acceptable as a photo ID for registration on Covin 2.0. The health ministry said it has been the constant endeavor of the center to streamline the vaccination process for its universalization the ministry has written to states and union territories today to include udid card as a photo id while registering on covin 2.0 platform as per the guidance note for covin 2.0 issued on 2nd march this year seven prescribed photo ids were specified and prescribed for verification of beneficiary prior to their vaccination In the letter written to states and union territories the union ministry has stated that the UDID card issued to persons with disability by the Department of Empowerment of Persons with Disabilities the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment has all the necessary features such as the name year of birth gender and photograph of the person and meets the criteria for the use of identification in covid-19 vaccination It said with a view to further facilitate access to vaccination for persons with disability it has been decided to include the UDID in the list of prescribed photo ID document for COVID-19 vaccination the necessary provisions for it are being made and would be available in COVID shortly The Union Health Ministry has advised the states and union territories to widely publicize the use of UDID card as a permissible photo ID for accessing COVID vaccination. You're listening to the evening news on All India Radio. A reminder of the headlines before we move on. Prime Minister Narendra Modi announces free vaccine to all above 18 years from 21st of June addressing the nation Prime Minister says no state has to spend on vaccine supply of vaccine to increase in next few days asserts Prime Minister trials of three more vaccines in advanced stage trials also underway on nasal vaccine and vaccine for children informs Prime Minister Government extends Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Anni Yojana till Deepavali 80 crore people poor to be benefited under the scheme those creating apprehensions about vaccination are playing with the lives of people warns prime minister india reports 1 lakh daily new covid-19 cases the lowest in last 2 months national recovery rate stands at 93.94% Unique disability identification card now acceptable as a photo ID for registration on COVID 2.0 says center 
Centre issues guidelines for vaccination of persons undertaking international travel. Kerala extends lockdown till 16th June amid surge in COVID-19 cases. West Bengal and Puducherry cancel state board examinations. In French Open tennis, Novak Djokovic and Alexander Zverev enter quarterfinals of men's singles. For quick news updates around the clock, follow us on our Twitter handle at AIR News Alerts. Welcome back. You're listening to the Evening News. Health and Family Welfare Minister Dr. Harshwardhan has said that India is witnessing a significant decline in active caseload and fresh cases of COVID. He said the recovery rate from the infection is also continuously improving. Dr. Harshwardhan was addressing the 28th group of ministers meeting today. The union minister said the country's daily recoveries continue to outnumber the daily new cases for the 25th consecutive day. He said. The recovery rate has further improved to 93.94%. India has reported 1 lakh daily new cases in the last 24 hours, which is the lowest in 61 days. A total of 1,74,399 patients recovered during the last 24 hours. Dr. Harshwardhan said there are over 14 lakh active cases in the country at present, and 83% active cases are in 10 states. He added that the country is also witnessing a declining trend in the weekly and daily positivity rate. Daily positivity rate is also continuously declining and it is 6.34% and this is less than 10% for the 25th consecutive day. The minister said testing capacities have been ramped up in the country for early detection of coronavirus and over 36 crore tests have been conducted in the country so far. The Union Health Minister said the government is continuously monitoring evolving aspects of mutation in coronavirus. He said the government is ready for early detection of any emerging challenges and better prepared to deal with the evolving situation. The cumulative number of COVID-19 vaccine doses administered in the country exceeded 23 crore 59 lakh today. On the 143rd day of the vaccination drive today, 31,4989 vaccine doses were given. Kerala has extended lockdown till the 16th of this month as COVID-19 cases continue to surge in the state. Kerala recorded 9,319 new cases of COVID-19 in the last 24 hours with a test positivity rate at 13.2%. 21,921 recoveries were also reported in the state. Punjab Chief Minister Captain Amrinder Singh today ordered an extension of COVID restrictions in the state up to the 15th of June with certain relaxations including opening of shops till 6pm and private offices to function with 50% strength. He was reviewing the COVID situation in the state today. The Chief Minister said the night curfew will remain in force from 7pm to 6am on weekdays including Saturdays but regular weekend curfew will continue on Sundays only. Chief Minister Captain Amrinder Singh today directed Ge Director General of Police Dinkar Gupta to register cases under the Disaster Management Act against opposition leaders and workers who have been staging dharnas in the state over the past few days, terming such acts of the Shiromani Akali and the Ahmadmi Party as irresponsible and in utter violation of the strict curbs in place in the state. In view of the COVID-19 pandemic, the Chief Minister asked the DGP to take action against them under the law. The lockdown continues in Delhi with few more relaxations. The national capital has been under lo COVID lockdown since April. As the number of cases started dipping, the Delhi government began the unlock process last week. As per the new guidelines, Delhi Metro Rail Services will begin operations with 50% seating capacity. All malls, markets and market complexes, except weekly markets, will open from 10am to 8pm on odd-even basis. 
The Central Board of Secondary Education, CBSE, has extended the last date for uploading the marks of practical subjects and internal assessment by schools of class 12 students. The date has been extended till 28th of June. CBSE has also permitted the schools to conduct the practical and other assessments of students through online mode only. Controller of Examination Dr. Sanyam Bhardwaj has written a letter to the principals and heads of the institution. The West Bengal government has cancelled the class 10th and 12th state board exam this year in view of COVID-19 pandemic. Chief Minister Momata Banerjee made the announcement today. She said that the government has asked for suggestions from common people, students, parents and sector experts yesterday. The government received over 34,000 emails and more than 80% has opined against conducting the exams this year. The expert committee formed earlier has been asked to submit its report on the process of evaluation within a week. Puducherry Chief Minister Rangaswamy declared today that the Class 12 State Board examinations are cancelled in view of the ongoing pandemic situation in the Union Territory. More from our Puducherry correspondent. Chief Minister Rangaswamy said in a release that the examinations slatter for Puducherry and Karakal regions have been cancelled. 14,674 students of Puducherry and Karakal were to take the examinations, he added. The announcement came days after the Tamil Nadu government decided to cancel the examinations in view of the second wave of the coronavirus pandemic. Puducherry does not have a separate board for the higher secondary education and follows the education pattern adopted in Tamil Nadu. Chandra Mohan, Air News, Puducherry. Navi Mumbai Municipal Corporation has announced a financial assistance of 1,000 rupees for all its students so that they can buy unlimited internet packs and continue their digital learning. The amount for the first half of academic year 2021-22 will be directly credited to the accounts of over 35,000 students. The decision has been taken to lessen the burden of the parents and also to ensure that children do not miss out on schooling due to lack of resources. In Maharashtra, the Hanus Cottage Hospital or the sub-district hospital in Palghar district, which is predominantly tribal district, has successfully conducted close to 800 deliveries during the second wave of the coronavirus pandemic. The district not only managed to conduct deliveries of 23 COVID-positive women, but treated a newborn who, was also tested, who had also tested positive. Speaking exclusively to AIR News, Palghar Taluka Health Officer Dr. Abhiji Chavan said, most women in the district were apprehensive of seeking treatment from hospitals in nearby towns of Mumbai and Thane, and so the district hospital arranged a separate facility for them. With the second wave on the decline, the district administration is not letting its guard down and preparing for a possible third wave to ensure a lesser number of infections and casualties. Prime Minister Narendra Modi expressed grief over the loss of lives due to a fire at a factory at Pune in Maharashtra. In a tweet, Mr. Modi expressed condolences to the bereaved families. At least 17 people, including 15 women, were charged to death in the fire that broke out at an industrial plant about 16 kilometers from Pune. Prime Minister's office said, Mr. Modi has announced an ex creation of 2 lakh rupees each from the Prime Minister's National Relief Fund for the next of kin of those who have lost their lives due to a fire at an industrial unit in Pune, Maharashtra. 50,000 rupees will be provided to those injured. The Prime Minister said his thoughts are with all those who lost their near and dear ones due to lightning in parts of West Bengal. He hoped that the injured will recover at the earliest. 20 people were killed in lightning today in the state. The PMO said Mr. Modi has approved an ex gratia of 2 lakh rupees each from the Prime Minister's National Relief Fund for the next of kin of those who have lost their lives due to lightning in various parts of West Bengal. 50,000 rupees would be given to the injured. The World Bank has approved a 500 million US dollar program to help boost India's MSME sector. The program targets improvements in the performance of 5,50,000 micro, small and medium enterprises MSMEs. The $500 million Raising and Accelerating Micro, Small and Medium Enterprise Performance or RAMP program is the World Bank's second intervention in this sector. The E-Committee of the Supreme Court of India has released the draft model rules for live streaming and recording of court proceedings and has invited inputs, feedback and suggestions on it from all the stakeholders. The draft model rules are available on the E-Committee website www.ecommittee s 
ci.gov.in. Suggestions and inputs on the draft model rules for live streaming and recording of court proceedings can be sent to the email id ecommittee at aij.gov.in on or before the 30th of this month. A central team is visiting Orissa and West Bengal to assess the damage caused by Cyclone Yas recently. In Orissa, the team visited the affected areas of Bareshwar district, which has been hit the most from the cyclone. In West Bengal, the team led by Joint Secretary in the Ministry of Home Affairs, S.K. Shahi, visited the cyclone-affected areas of Sat 24 Parganas today. The seven-member team reached Kolkata last night. They visited the affected areas in Pathar Prathima and Gosaba. They also inspected the damaged river embankments of the coastal areas in the Sundarbans. The teams held meetings with the district officials and saw details regarding the relief work done, done so far. At the domestic stock markets, the Sensex and the Nifty rose to post fresh record highs today while the rupee appreciated slightly against the US dollar. A report from the business world. The Sensex at the Bombay Stock Exchange rose 228 points or 0.4% to close at a record high of 52,329 today. The Nifty at the National Stock Exchange advanced 81 points or 0.5% to end at an all-time high of 15,752. And Brent crude futures fell 62 cents to $71.27 a barrel. U.S. crude futures touched $70 for the first time since October 2018 but reversed course to trade 55 cents lower at $69.07 a barrel. This is Lalema Aneja Dang for AIR News. In French Open tennis, top seed Novak Djokovic and German sixth seed Alexander Zverev have advanced to the quarterfinals of men's singles today. Djokovic advances to the last 16 after Italian Lorenzo Musetti retired due to injury. The world number one was leading the decider 4-0 after fighting back to 6-7, 6-7, 6-1, 6-0. Swerev defeated Kei Shikori of Japan in the fourth round. He will face Alessandro Davidovic for Kina for a place in the semi-final. Defending champion Rafael Nadal will face Italian teenager 18-seeded Yannick Sinner in a short while from now for a place in the quarterfinals. Earlier, Russian second seed Daniel Medvedev stormed into the men's singles quarterfinals. Medvedev will clash with Greek fifth seed Stefano Tsitsipas. Italian Matteo Berrettini got a walkover into the quarterfinals after a 20-time Grand Slam winner Roger Federer pulled out of the tournament as a precautionary measure to rest despite reaching the fourth round. In women's fixture, Barjora Krejikova of Czech Republic and 17-year-old Coco Goff reached the quarterfinals. However, Indian player Rohan Bopanna and his Croatian partner Franco Skugor lost to Spanish pair of Pablo Andujar and Pedro Martinez in the quarterfinals today. And now let's take a look at the weather forecast for tomorrow. National capital Delhi will have strong surface winds. Minimum temperature will be 27 while maximum will go up to 41 degrees Celsius. Mumbai will have a party cloudy sky with one or two spells of rain or thunder showers. Chennai will see a party cloudy sky. Kolkata will see a party cloudy sky as well with possibility of moderate rain or thunderstorm. Jammu will have a mainly clear sky becoming party cloudy towards the afternoon or evening. Srinagar will have a mainly clear sky becoming partly cloudy towards the afternoon or evening. Leh will have a partly cloudy sky as well. The temperature will hover between 9 and 24 degrees Celsius. Gilgit will see a partly cloudy sky. Temperature will hover between 17 and 39 degrees Celsius. While Muzaffarabad will have a mainly clear sky becoming partly cloudy towards afternoon or evening. And now before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi announces free vaccine to all above 18 years from 21st June. Addressing the nation, Prime Minister says no state has to spend on vaccine. Supply of vaccine to increase in the next few days, asserts Prime Minister. Trials of three more vaccines in advanced stage. Trials also underway on nasal vaccine and vaccines for children, informs Prime Minister. Government extends Pradhan Mantri Gharib Kalyan Anna Yojana till Deepavali. 80 crore poor to be benefited under the scheme. Those creating apprehensions about vaccination are playing with the lives of people, warns Prime Minister. India reports 1 lakh daily new COVID cases, the lowest in the last two months. National recovery rate stands at 93.94%. Unique disability identification card now acceptable as a photo ID for registration on COVID 2.0, says Centre. Centre issues guidelines for vaccination of persons undertaking international travel. 
Kerala extends lockdown till 16th June amid surge in COVID cases. West Bengal and Puducherry cancel state board exams. And in French Open tennis, Novak Djokovic and Alexander Zverev enter quarterfinals of men's singles. And with that, we end the evening news. Good night.